Welcome back for another one, guys. If you're not subscribed, hit that button. If you're already subscribed, you're awesome. Let's get to talking about these cabinets. So if this is your first time joining us, welcome. In today's video, we're gonna talk about these cabinets. So these are the Husky Heavy Duty Cabinets, I guess from Home Depot, they're the Home Depot brand. So this would be, I guess you would consider this a nine piece set. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine piece set, and I also bought an extra cabinet over there. Well, I guess locker, I guess you would consider that a locker. Before we get too deep into the video, I do have a whole install video or whatever you want to call it with the New Age Pro Series cabinets. I'll link that at the top corner. If you want to check that out, pause this video, go check that out, then come back here and let's discuss the differences, pros and cons and whatnot. You guys are sitting on top of the workbench, which we'll go over in a little bit, but I kind of wanted to compare the Husky cabinets to the New Age Pro Series cabinets that I had in my last house. Let's get to talking, we'll go over a couple of the, I guess the specifications, and then we'll go over my thoughts with these living uh, about two weeks with these at this point. Let's go over it. Let me get my notes quick. So I got my notes here and we'll go over some of the different specifications with these cabinets as compared to my new age cabinets. Then we'll start talking about which ones I actually like better. So the Husky line has three different levels. They have the regular series, the heavy duty series, and the pro series. So the regular series, they're actually shorter cabinets and not as deep. They're 75 inches high and 19 inches deep. So then you step up to the heavy duty and the pro series and those will be 81 inches high and 24 inches deep, which I think they're only talking about the big lockers and not the wall cabinets because we'll get into that in a minute. But the only difference that I was able to tell between the two between those two series, the heavy duty and the pro, is that the pro comes with the line X coating, which is basically bed liner, so I guess they don't get as dinged up and scratched up. That's the only thing I was able to tell. And for me, it wasn't worth it for the extra price point. Then moving into the new age cabinets, you have the bold series and the pro series. The Bolt series is 76 and three quarter inches tall and 18 inches deep, which is similar to the Husky regular tier, which is off like a couple inches here and there, but it's a little bit deeper, but not as tall. And then the Pro Series New Age cabinets are 84 and three quarters inches tall and 24 inches deep, which is the same depth as these cabinets. Um, but the same thing, the wall cabinets were not the same depth. So I just want to go briefly about why we went with these cabinets as opposed to the New Age. The cabinets we we're trying to get is the biggest possible cabinets we can get. So the New Age Bold was out of the question because they were a little shorter. The Husky Regular, a little shorter. I know we're only talking about a six inch height difference, but from what I'm told, six inches is a lot. That's what she said. <laughs> Obviously, the other difference you want to go with, well, what we wanted to go with was the depth. So you're about, I think, five inches depth difference. So you have a little bit more space from wall to front to, to mess with, which is another plus for us. So our old house, we had storage in the attic above the garage. This one, this garage, even though it is a three-car garage, there's no storage up there other than like just some rafters, just some rafters like this. So. We just have some like backing for cabinets and a piece of PVC pipe and that's basically it. Uh, by the way, I have a install video on these lights. Pretty cheap, I'll link that up in the top corner. Now that I touched on why I went with the heavy duty slash pro sized cabinets for the Husky, another reason we went with Husky is cause the original ones we had from New Age, the price went up maybe over a thousand dollars from last time so um, these, this cheaper option that actually came with more stuff was a better fit. Even buying that extra locker over there, we're still at a cheaper price than the set of new age that we had. And we have an extra workbench and LED lighting. Now we're gonna get into the pros and cons of these Husky cabinets as compared to the new age. First off, I'm gonna list the con here. The cabinets only come in one color as opposed to the new age that has, I think four different colors. And when you get the full set, you could also change the color, well not the color, but you could get a bamboo or a stainless steel worktop. Another con is, they're not soft close. Also another thing about the doors is the magnets on them aren't as strong as the new age ones. The new age ones kind of like lock shut and 
held pretty firmly. These, uh, if you slam it a little too hard, you can see it opens back up. It's not the end of the world, but it's a con. While we're on the subject of doors, this can be a pro for you, this could be a con for you. For me, this is a pro. Let me move you in closer. The New Age cabinets, you had to open up one door before the other because it had like a lip there to close it. This one, it doesn't matter which one you open up, the door's open independently of each other. Now, let's go over at least one pro from this. When you open it up, it comes standard with a draw. And then on top of it, the draw is soft close. I believe the New Age came with more shelves. This only comes with two shelves, but if you move the, if you move the draw up, the bottom becomes a shelf, then you, I guess you could consider yourself having three shelves. And I mentioned the moving the draw up because I made that mistake on this one, which, which is the spare one we bought. Uh, if you, I don't know if you can see down here too well. I didn't move this draw up, which it works where it is, but I need to take everything out and move it because we have all this dead space up here. So it would be nice to be able to move this stuff up a little bit and then actually put more stuff underneath. Another pro with these is the back of the cabinet, the back of these locker doors actually have like the pegboard holes in it so you could actually hang stuff on the inside if you really wanted to. New Age doesn't have that. Now this set here is roughly the same thing that we had with the New Age. Um, New Age, we had the two lockers, we had three wall cabinets, we wound up buying an extra wall cabinet and then we had these two here that had a workbench top. This, these five drawer cabinets have their own top individually. It's not really like a workbench, but it's a nice work surface. And you have a bunch of drawers in here. And the drawers are nice and quiet clothes also. But New Age seemed to have had a little bit more space there. Um, another con with these, the spot for the locking mechanism in here is in here. And this, this top drawer and the second drawer, they have like this extra lip there. So you can't go all the way to the top edge of your drawer. You can't go to the top edge of the draw. You see it like that. It's a little, uh, you just gotta work around that. But once you move down to your third draw, fourth and fifth, there's not that thing there. So you could actually go up. Uh, let's see, this one is pretty close to the top with extra space. So you could go up as high as you want, basically, as long as you don't go over the edge of your draw pole. Now we'll get to the wall cabinet. So this set comes with four wall cabinets. The New Age set only came with three. Then we had to buy an extra one, which was actually extra wide, which is pretty nice. Same thing with the with these doors. You could open whichever one you want first. You don't have to do like the New Age and open one, but not the other. Uh, but they're, they don't seem as deep as the New Age. I'll see if I can find the measurements. They didn't show the measurements for the wall cabinets as easy, so. Um, these I think are 14 inches deep. I think the new age seemed like they were a little bit deeper, but that just might be uh, me not remembering correctly. Hanging these cabinets were a lot easier than the new age ones. This one actually comes with like a track that you drill into the wall first, then you hang the cabinet on top of that and you just put a couple of screws in the back. The new age ones, you kind of have to muscle them up there. I'll try to get a clip from the other video of me installing them, but I actually put a two by four on the wall, then you kind of, sit the cabinets on top of that and screw them in. A little more annoying. This I was able to do by myself. The other one I needed an extra set of hands to install them. These Husky cabinets came with this LED kit, which I have, obviously I have not even opened it yet. Uh, I assume they go under the cabinet, but I'm gonna probably repurpose them to go somewhere else in the garage just to make it brighter. So I actually wound up opening these after I just filmed that last clip, just to confirm that it was an LED and not just a little mounting kit for it. And obviously they're LEDs. They have magnets on it. Well, it looks like it has a magnet on it. So they actually have magnets on them so it doesn't have to necessarily go under the wall cabinets. You could probably put them in the big lockers and stuff. So kind of cool. I like this. Now let's go last but not least with this whole set that we bought here is this workbench. So the workbench comes, it has adjustable legs. Uh, you could probably slide it over this when not in use, but the way I have my garage set up, it's, a work in progress and I don't know where it's gonna go just yet. So this is the workbench. It's nice and wide. It's 72 inches wide by 23 inches deep. Uh, I do love the fact that it's adjustable because I am 6'2 and everything is always too short for me. So it's nice that I could have this come up and basically be up to my hip. If I wanted to, I could even raise it a little bit more or lower it if you wanted to sit at it or whatever you were gonna do, but 
adjustable, very nice. It would be nice if it came with some sort of rolling, if it came with some sort of caster so you could roll it around the garage. But we actually looked up to see the thread pitch for because we were thinking of ordering some on Amazon and Home Depot slash Husky don't actually recommend you putting casters on it because then it becomes a little too tippy. I guess because it's not as deep to give it more stability, but considering still doing that and just being careful with it because wheels would be nice to just wheel it around the garage whenever you're working on a project, you have it right next to you. Also, integrated power strip with some uh, USB ports. Good. So, gonna end it there before we get too wordy. If I had to do it again, considering price, I would definitely get these because with the extra cabinet, which I forgot to mention is extra wide compared to the ones that came with it, that's 42 inches as opposed to 36 inches. It was still less than the new age cabinets. If the new age cabinets were the same price, probably would have went with those again, just because we had a good experience with them. Plus they come in other colors as opposed to these. On a scale of like one to 10, if I had to rank these, I would probably give these like a seven and the new age like an 8.5, just because they felt a little more, they just felt a little more sturdy. I don't know if they actually used a thicker gauge metal. These are 18 gauge. I don't know if the new age are thicker, but the way I'm remembering, they were like really sturdy. The cabinets were nice. The nice soft clothes on the doors and the drawers had a little bit more space. The new age didn't come with as much stuff, but the better quality of them, I think outweighs that. So for the same price, I would probably go new age, but given current pricing, Husky heavy duty. Very happy with this purchase, have plenty of storage, there's actually some more space that I can stuff stuff into these cabinets and drawers and stuff just to clean up the garage a little bit more. We're getting there, it's always a work in progress, we're getting there slowly. Let me know if you think I should paint these walls. Well definitely back there is a little bit, but it's a gray color, I'm thinking of painting them white and then actually I want to get the ceiling possibly insulated and then sprayed black. Might be cool. I don't actually want to do the painting though. Let me know what you think of that down below. Let me know what you think I should do for the flooring because the flooring right now is just not polished concrete but smooth concrete and the Jeep leaks, the Benz leaks, so I just need something to not soak up the oils. If this was your first video, hopefully I earned that subscription. Hit that like button, leave some comments down below for future garage upgrades or whatever that I can do. If you have questions between the two cabinets, new age versus husky, leave them down below. I'll, try, I'll do my best to answer them and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.